And welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Old School vs. New School, a Minecraft survival series. All right, now with that out of the way, let's talk about the plan for today. Actually, to discuss the plan for today, we got to recap what we did last time. Last time, we actually did a... Excuse me, a lot of the good Lord's work. Ooh, no egg that time, or no chicken that time. And gathered ourselves up a whole bunch of animal friends, of which we will use for slaughter. But they don't know that. We also made just like a little sugarcane farm here. And isn't that just special? Nice. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to use. A sugarcane for paper for books later down the line. But I think... Oh, nope. Wrong. I think we're pretty much ready to start an initial exploration of the caves. So to do that, I got a bunch of torches here. I still got I still got 13 torches. It's probably not enough. Let me do I have any coal. Yeah, I got a bunch of coal left. Let me just turn the rest of this into torches. Um, I got enough food and we are going to make an iron pick. Boom. Achievement gets iron got a little bit of mutton cooked up i got a few apples Ooh, i do have seven raw beef so we will cook that oh lovely uh let's go quick grab a probably not gonna need the hoe i'll hate that advice for life I'm going to go quick grab a bucket of water here. Ooh, I think a few crops are ready to be harvested too, so while the, the beef is cooking. I miss the way old wheat used to look. Oh, that's actually kind of smart. The, oh, the, uh, the water flow actually kind of puts everything back there in a convenient spot for me. You know, I'm going to go back and grab the hoe. Because we can expand the plot ever so slightly. Sixteen. A lot of expansion. Spots for two more. That's looking a-okay. And with this wheat, I think enough time has passed since we visited our animals to do some breeding. Oh, it does appear so. At this point, I kind of wonder about the genealogy of the uh, of the animals. Or, or is like, uh, did the family tree stop forking and is just the trunk at this point? Now, these are the questions we should be asking ourselves. And you know what? I will breed the chickens as well. I do plan on making a automated... I do plan on making an egg farm at some point. So having the... Uh... Alright, you're good. Where's the other chicken? Where's the other one? The chicken. There you go. Have at it. Nice. And we have... I think I just heard an egg drop. I don't know. Once I get enough chickens kind of bred in there, I will, you know, make an egg, uh, start harvesting, uh, just eggs. So I would like to bring a little bit of wood in case something breaks. Don't quite, uh, I'll bring a 10 sticks as well. I can't imagine we're going to be down there very long. I got a shovel, I got my stake, leave the hoe, and I think we're ready to go. Munch on the mutton, bad name? Munch on the mutton, bad name? That might be. I think we're ready. 
I, we did. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but a few episodes ago, we did light up this area. Can I put these in the offhand? Oh, that does work like that. Ha! Huh. Shit, I'm learning stuff. Oh, we got a creeper. And not like the guy who, like, walks around schools, like an actual creeper. That went very poorly. Ooh, but we... F but our little buddy there revealed to us some coal. Oh, very polite of him. Oh, give me all the coal. And I figured this adventure... Uh, so, uh, I don't think this cave system is going to end up being very big. Um, it was also given a tip to me that we did find... That I did find what's called an abandoned portal or abandoned nether portal down here in these caves. Uh, so we'll go back visit that. Uh, there's a block of gold there that I'll grab. Um, I can use that to make golden apples, actually. Which is very exciting. But I think it also... We can also eventually turn that into our nether portal, or when we get a diamond pick or find diamonds, we can come back there, harvest that out, and use that as our uh, nether portal. Or use, use everything that we got there for a nether portal. I'm going to mine just a little bit more cobble. I can make a pick. Another pick. Don't want to use the iron pick unless completely necessary. Because we still haven't found much iron. Uh, the, the the iron that we did find pretty much went into this sword. In, not even into this sword. Oh, look at all the coal. So all the iron we did find went into that a pick and a bucket. We haven't found the most amount of coal yet. Iron yet. What am I saying? Still safe. Look at all this coal. That's so good. I'm happy that we don't have to resort to charcoal or anything like that. And it almost seems like... How much... So I've harvested 42. Yeah, so we're going to be able to get a lot done with this coal. In fact, I could probably skip... Oh! I could probably skip the coal at this point. Just because I know it's here and it's very abundant. And it's not terribly hard to access. So part of me is like, skip it. Skip it. But the indoctrination in me is like, you have to mine it. It's here. You know you'll need it. I had a buddy of mine from high school. He's the one who actually got me into Minecraft. He would, uh, he would yell at me if, uh, <laughs> if I would skip resources or not mine the veins completely. The, the, not mining the veins completely, I, I totally get. But the skipping resources, he would yell at me. So I, I've been indoctrinated. I've been indoctrinated pretty hardcore to mine everything up. But he's not here. I don't think he's going to yell at me. So I might be in the clear to just skip it. But then I'm going to get PTSD. You know what? No. I'm a strong, independent boy. I can play my Minecraft survivals how I want to. The old school way, the proper way. All of you fancy new people with all of your off-handed shields and your who's a what's it's. And make our way back towards the portal. I think it was up over here. Yeah, here it is. Peace o pick. So this was once another portal. I think somebody said that around here there's the potential of a chest. Oh wait, I think I need the iron pick for that. There's the possibility of a chest around here. I don't know where it would be though. 
don't like the sound that cobble ma that uh, nether rack makes when you walk on it. Didn't notice there was a path up there either. Huh. Unless I already got the chest. Don't remember getting a chest down here. I'm just mining the stone brick because I can at this point. And I, f yeah. So this is how we used to, we used to make fire with uh, the nether rack back in the day. Like, we want to make a, a a campfire of some kind. You know, you would uh, throw down some nether rack, send out a redstone signal, and light it on fire. And that's how we made you know, uh, fires and stuff like that. I'm not as confident that there's something here to be found. Well, I've already wasted enough time on this. Ooh, that's rough, buddy. Let's just keep exploring around. This cave... Oh, there's down. Let's uh, light up around here just a little bit. You know, back when I first started playing Minecraft, if you found grass like this in a dungeon... It was considered a considered a glitch. Spider above me. It wasn't considered a glitch. It was considered it was extremely rare because in order for that to ha have happened, a nether a uh, an Enderman would have had to have picked up a picked up a grass block and then teleported out into a cave and placed it down where there was dirt. So to uh, find a cave like this with grass in it was extremely, extremely rare and uncommon. And, uh, and kind of cool. So I'm kind of of two minds of the, uh, of the new Minecraft generation. I feel like it's kind of taken out the... Uh, like it's cool that we can have dirt in a cave. Or grass in a cave. But it, I feel like it's kind of taken out... <gasps> Iron. Hallelujah. Two blocks, that's all I'm good for? Ah, oh, jerks. But where was I going with this? But I feel like the generation has made, like, those kind of anomalies less special because it can just happen. I don't know, that could just be me complaining about the way things... Uh, complaining about the way things used to be. But there was something spe There used to be something special about it. You know, you're... You're in the middle of a cave, a deep cave system, you know, it's... You've been down there for, I'm not going to say hours, but an hour. And you come across a cave that's literally just full of life. Full of life, I mean, you know, grass. And to me, that was really, really cool. There was just something special about it. Now, it because it can just happen, it kind of loses that sense of wonder. Like, how did this happen? Oh, it generated before. How did this happen? Well, we had an anomaly where an Enderman... You know, that's probably just me complaining. That's that's probably me not, uh, just complaining about things. Or uh, when they... Uh, the advent of brown wool. Like, getting brown wool used to be something very, very uncommon. Then they added uh, uh, cocoa beans back to the... Uh, and they added cocoa beans, and, you know, brown will suddenly wasn't all that great anymore, because you could just get cocoa beans from the dungeon. I don't know. Again, that could just be me unfairly complaining, but... You know, I feel like adding in features like that just... Oh, what's this? I am two for two on the creepers blowing up and not hurting me. Please go somewhere. No, it's just a bummer. I kind of like having these torches in the offhand. That's pretty nice. Okay, maybe I can get, maybe I can get behind some of these new Minecraft features. I kind of dig the whole offhand thing. Now, if this should be the last little leg of the cave to be explored. I, 
again, I may or may not have uh, scoped out ahead of time. I heard something downstairs in my house just now that I'm like something moving and I'm the only one that lives here. But I guess that can wait for right now. We got, uh, oh, good lord, scared the shit out of me. Okay, this cave system is actually much bigger than I suspected it would be. And I looped back around there. Can I make this jump? Nope. Does this go deeper? It does. Well... See just how deep you go, my friend. Or if you go anywhere, more importantly. Uh, yeah, that appears that pretty much went nowhere. Oh, that's kind of sucks. I kind of had high expectations for the hole. No, that's why we always carry our trusty water source block with us. Alright, there's one more little part of this cave that I'd like to explore. And then I think we'll consider this a pretty successful episode. I mean, we've almost completely explored out what we know of this cave area. Ah, kind of goes back to nothing again. And that's kind of a bummer. I was really hoping that this would... I know I explored part of it off camera, like beforehand, but I didn't know that this back area was here. I was really hoping that this would go somewhere and... It's kind of regrettable that it didn't. So this cave is kind of a bust. Uh, there's still some coal here to be mined, some copper later, but for the most part, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that this this cave system is kind of a bust. But we'll need to find a, a better one uh, at some point in the future. Ooh, and it appears to be nighttime. So the creepy crawlies are out. Like the wear cow, apparently. I'm just gonna light up this area a little bit more. Oh, we got a pumpkin! Oh, look at my beloved farm animals. I'll light up the immediate area just a little bit more. Much, much better. Well. I think that pretty much uh, sets us up for the day here. Uh, when we come back next time, I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe we'll go find another cave, because I feel like we really need a lot more resources before we can... Uh... Ooh, I got a potato from somewhere. Where did I get a potato from? Oh, a zombie must have dropped a potato? <gasps> Shit, we're planting, this. we're planting this thing right away. Hell yeah. Uh, over here can be my potato area. Nice! Dudes, I'm so happy we got a potato. Oh, we can make baked potatoes, and those get pretty decent hunger. Or replenish decent, uh, decent enough hunger. But, uh, yeah, when we come back next time, we'll probably do some more exploring around this area. I'm sure there's lots of things to be, lots of neat things to be discovered. Uh, somebody commented that, the, that there was an abandoned ship. Maybe we'll go check that out. Just the possibilities are endless. But we'll have to see what those possibilities are next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.